Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle and surprisingly to me it is Friday the 12th of August 2022 when I say surprisingly I'll tell you why in a second no I won't I'll tell you why right now actually uh, it's because when I clicked on the link for today's Guardian Sudoku Puzzle it said hard level and I thought hard why is it hard on a Saturday and then I had to think hard myself and realized that actually today is Friday, but it feels very much like a Saturday. It's because it's a public holiday here. It's actually Mother's Day here in Thailand. And uh, the, um, I've been awake for quite a long time listening to music and relaxing and knowing that I don't have any work. And because tomorrow is a Saturday, it feels like another Saturday, you know? When, when we have a day off on Monday, it's not quite as uh, nice as when we have a day off on Friday because we get that feel that... Um, you know, <coughs> we've got a long weekend ahead of us. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Too much salt in my boiled eggs this morning. All right. Um, so uh, anyway, it's a guardian hard level, not a guardian expert. That's tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I shall um, get on with it. I can see something, but I can't see an easy number, but I can see something which is well, easy enough. Uh, to those of you who can play the hard level game. So I'll, if, I'll assume that you already know how to play the game and uh, I won't uh, talk any more about the rules, but I did notice that this three and this eight block this square here, which means that three and eight must appear in these squares here, and therefore whatever goes here, which is a six, uh, you know, the uh, whatever, what goes here is the, <laughs> the other number that we need for that block, of course, is what I was trying to say. Uh, right now, I was going to look for some easy numbers. I, I didn't see any yet. I haven't seen any yet. You come on, we must have a couple of easy numbers, surely. Well, okay, maybe this game is going to be as ah, there we are. I knew there had to be at least one around <coughs> nines across here and nine up there. That's a nine. Nine blocking up here and up here. There we go with our nine in that square there. Missing numbers here now are seven and something. So the seven blocks across here. There's the seven. And the something is a two. Uh, right, get back to Earth, because uh, I was away dr dreaming about something else. Ah, here's another easy one. Three is across the top two rows, and three up here. So three blocking down and up and across here. There we go. Three uh, along this row and this row, so our three fits, uh, sorry, three fits there. Missing numbers here are one, four, six. We've got a blocking four, but that's it. Uh, the one, six, we can't decide about just yet, so we shall leave that and look elsewhere. Like the sevens that block across these two rows and the seven that blocks down there. <clears throat> Uh, we need an 8 to fit into this row here, 
and this 8 blocks both of those squares there and this 8 blocks this square so let's put our 8 there right uh, now 4 blocks this square and 4 blocks this square I can hold the key down so the 4 for this row has to appear there and we're looking for 1 and 6 that's what's missing there and that's what's missing there of course as well <coughs> excuse me I'm croaking a little Right, <coughs> excuse me. Now one blocking down here and taking out that square means that one has to be in one of these squares, so blocking across here. So that will be our one, that will be our six, and this will be our six. And because we know that one blocks across there, oh, we didn't need it actually, one blocking up there, one blocking down there. There we go. The 2 and the 8 and <coughs> block this square here, putting 2 and 8 in these two squares, giving us a 4 as the last option there. 4 blocking up this column, <coughs> 4 blocking across this row, puts another 4 there. The 9 blocking this square and this 9 blocking these two squares, let me if I hold the right key down, 9 blocking there and a 9 blocking there, so in the top row only one possibility for a 9 and then the 9 that we just put in will be used with other 9s to place the 9 there Our back over this side now, 3 blocking this square here, so that's the location of the 3 and the 8, which is the last number that we can get uh, in that block. Across there, and then 8's across like this, giving us an 8 there. Missing numbers <coughs> in this column are 1, well immediately we see the 1, we know that the 1 goes there, and the last number to fit in is a 2, I think. And we'll use that two as well, two blocking across here, and two up here, and two up here to say that must be a two as well. So now I've got a, a two blocking across here and across here, and nine blocking across here and across here. So I know two and nine are in these squares here. So if two and nine are here, that leaves five and six in these squares here. Uh, so because this is a 5, 5 will block down here, 5 blocks down here, 5 across here, that has to be a 5. And uh, what about a 6, anything? No, not really for a 6. <coughs> Okay, so this 9 now blocks this square, so that's got to put a 9 up there, and the last number for the column is 2, I think. Uh, we're just about to finish up the twos because two blocking across here and across here will give us a two in that square blocking down. And that's the final two. This will be an eight. <coughs> eight blocking down here and across here. Eight goes there. And I think we just need one more, don't we? It's across there. Yep, we did. <coughs> one number needed for this row, which is four. Four, oops, four up there and four across there, so four in that square, then the four down. Okay, so it's been a pretty straightforward game again from the Guardian. I, I'm not expecting any lo logic puzzles at this stage. It's rather 
it's, it's extremely unlikely they could, they could be logic puzzles with the layout that we have at the moment complete. <coughs> you get a feel for when there might be a, a logic problem coming up and when there probably isn't, or there certainly isn't, I should say. Uh, the missing number here is a 9. So we've done 2, 4, 8, and 9. We're looking for the others. <coughs> uh, the 3 blocks down here, so that must be our 3. That's also complete now. Uh, missing numbers here are 6 and 7. Do we have any knowledge? No, we don't. But up here, we know the 7 blocks across, up there and across there. And so we can say the 7 is there, then we can say 7 is across this way. So that's our 7. And the missing numbers here are 5 and 6, I think. And we still don't. Oh, okay. 5 and 6 here. And I think this is 5 and 6, isn't it? And this looks to be 5 and 6 as well. How about that? 5 and 6 is everywhere. All we need is one of one intersection intersecting and th this has got to be five or six as well then hasn't it okay <laughs> ah, i love it oh, this is an interesting pattern okay because the missing numbers here are five and six five and six and here five and six and now when we look down here there are only two empty squares so this has to be five or six as well so what do we know we know that immediately that this five says that this can't be five so that must be six that must be five that must be six, that must be five, that must be six, that must be five, and that must be six. In one fell swoop, that was enjoyable. Our oh, one blocking across here puts a one into that square, blocking up here, that's a one. The last number to get here is a five. Five blocking down here, five goes there. The last number here is a seven. Seven across here puts a seven into that square, and the final digit for today's guardian i was going to say medium level hard level uh, it's uh, cold but i'm um, actually really medium level game or or below even six will do it uh thank you very much and uh hope to see you later although i've seen signs that my cat needs to go to the vets the or the animal hospital i should say so uh, i'm not sure what time i'll be back bye bye